Did you know that Excel can help you calculate the internal rate of return? This is a key concept in project management that shows the interest rate you earn on an investment. In this video, we'll create and share a dynamic template in Excel with three easy steps. Calculating internal rate of return and plotting it in Excel, analyzing net present value and visualizing it, and understanding time value of money in projects. By the end, you'll know exactly how to analyze investment viability using both IRR and MPV. You can follow along by getting Excel workbook via the provided link in the description below. Stefan is calculating internal rate of return and plotting it in Excel. Our company is investing in augmented reality to increase the efficiency of its project teams. As the diagram shows, we have an initial investment of $100,000 to buy AR goggles. The projected annual cash inflows over the next six years are also shown. For example, net income for the first year is estimated to be $20,000. We aim to calculate IRR to see if the investment is viable or not. To calculate the internal rate of return, enter IRR function in Excel and select the whole cash flow array. The result is 19.8%, but let's compare it to IRR after five years. The value range for IRR function will be the cash flow array until end of year 5, which results in an IRR of 13.5%. We can repeat the calculations for IRR at different years in our project life cycle. Important to note that IRR cannot be calculated for the initial investment at year 0 because input array must contain at least one positive value and one negative value. To plot the IRR chart, select the two columns of year and IRR, then navigate to insert tab and recommended charts. A clustered column graph is a good recommendation. You can adjust the year range and modify the style to suit your project management routine. After the first year, the project has a significant negative IRR of minus 80% due to initial cash outflows. The IRR becomes 3.6% by year 4, which means that the investment has broken even and achieved a modest rate of return. By the sixth year, IRR reaches 19.8%, showing the return achieved over the full project lifespan. In other words, it shows that the interest rate you earn on augmented reality investment is 19.8% after six years of waiting. Step 2 is calculating net present value and visualizing it. IRR is closely related to NPV or net present value. IRR is the interest rate corresponding to a zero NPV. We can calculate net present value of our investment in augmented reality by using a discount rate or hurdle rate. In this example, our company assumes a 10% cost of capital based on market conditions. NPV is the sum of all future cash flows discounted to the present value. NPV at year zero is simply the initial investment of minus $100,000 because no time has passed and therefore no discounting. For year one, enter NPV formula in Excel. Discount Discount rate of 10% is the first parameter, followed by the cash flow in year 1. Then we add the initial investment to find the NPV of minus $81,818 by the end of year 1. For future years, we can replicate the process. NPV starts negative and becomes positive in year 5, showing that project breaks even in terms of net present value during that year. By year 6, the cumulative NPV reaches $35,526, which shows the total value of the investment adjusted for the time value of money. To animate this, we can select the two columns of year and NPV. Then navigate to insert tab and recommend the charts. A clustered bar chart is a good recommendation. Feel free to adjust the style to suit your project management reports. These charts help stakeholders quickly understand financial trends, break even points, and long term viability. Step 3 is understanding time value of money in projects. This step helps you to analyze investment viability using both IRR and NPV in your projects. While cash flow analysis provides a straightforward view of inflows and outflows, IRR and NPV analysis offer deeper insights into the financial performance of an investment. NPV adjusts cash flows to account for the fact that money today is worth more than money received in the future. IRR measures the efficiency of an investment by showing the rate at which the project generates returns. It's also beneficial for comparing projects with different cash flow profiles. If NPV is greater than zero, the project exceeds the hurdle rate and is financially viable. NPV identifies a precise point in time when the investment breaks even in terms of time adjusted value of money. NPV assesses how sensitive a project is to changes in the discount rate or cost of capital. For example, if we change the discount rate to 20% in our case, the NPV by year 6 becomes minus $587. The project's NPV turning negative at a higher discount rate shows that its profitability is highly sensitive to the cost of capital. If the actual cost of funding, including interest rates or required return by investors goes up, the project would no longer create value. In other words, if funding sources are volatile or uncertain, this sensitivity highlights a potential risk of the project failure. Changing the discount rate simulates scenarios like increased borrowing costs, market uncertainty, or higher investor return expectations. And there you have it, an easy and short implementation of IRR and NPV using only three simple steps in Microsoft Excel. If you found this video useful, please remember to like and consider subscribing. I look forward to reading your comments and seeing you in the next one.